All right, Pisces, two fish, here we go. This is the Soulmate Energies update for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 2022. It's a general reading. It's my 12th sign and my day and a half long fly through. It may or may not resonate with you, but these readings here that I've done, you're on my 12th one in, 12 out of 12, very, very tight. I stand by the energy reads here. We'll see what we get. May or may not resonate with you, but if you found this channel, you're probably here for a reason. It could just be one thing I say, so keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be the whole reading. It could just be one thing. Well, September 2022, a month we're swimming in destiny. It reeks of destiny. Destiny's course corrected in August. Be sure and watch the overview reading. Very important to all of this. What is this here? It's my pre-shuffle. What is this? That's judgment. It's communication. It's someone returning. It's someone showing up. It's crossed by the page of swords. Someone is disappointed in themselves for what's happened with you. Someone's, it could be someone's been watching. This little owl watches the mouse for a little while and then he pounces. This is the pounce. It's right here. So I got Phoenix rising from, here's the, here's the owl on the perch. It's not an owl, but there's the owl in the air right there. Flying in, pouncing. It is. That's the energy that's here. And it's, it's someone who's very disappointed in themselves they want to stop this before it's over. They've got a ten of swords crossed by two swords. Okay? Inaction has caused this to feel dead. Feel somebody feels like it might be done. They want to stop that. Okay? What what was inaction? Two of swords is bookending the judgment card to take it a layer deeper. What was a crossroads, nothing happening, the moon, silent bob in front of Chatty Cathy, the sun, is now. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, this owl's ready to pounce. And again, it's it feels like a snap decision, but I don't think it is. I think it's fueled by. I don't want to even say disappointment. It's it's fueled by an urge to stop something from, to stop you from getting away. To again, I really feel with the Pisces angle. Someone told you that nope, it's not going to happen. You know, however they said it. However, they however that happened, and it's really strange that all of a sudden it's a it's a huge flip. So let's shuffle the deck. Let's see where we go. Is it going to be a very unique reading of the twelve? I'm going to use the animal deck, the deck that made Steve's love tarot here, uh, as the base energy, and I'm going to clarify with the uh, rider weight. Very interesting. It'll be very big cards on the table, yes, but it'll be very interesting. Um, I don't know. It's what my intuition said to do, so I always listen. We'll see. Just flow with the energy, right? Here we go. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of two fish. <laughs> Pisces. For September 2022 universe. This first card out is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? I haven't even looked at it yet. It's why the fuck are we here? Wow. It's it's uh, the six of uh, wands. It's somebody wants to fix this. Somebody's transformation energy right there. The heart chakra is open. Transformation in the heart. Somebody wants, that's just what I get. I feel this energy of stopping something before it's too late. Mm. I have baseball in my head where they, where they throw the, you know, somebody fumbled the ball and they got it just in time to chuck it fast enough to get, to put, to get the person out at home plate before they scored a point. I just, I just feel like that. It's like a last minute save energy of some kind. I don't know. I know that your energy in this cycle is tied to the angle of Leo. You don't have to know a Leo. It's not about dealing with a Leo. It's about angles on the cycle. So you might want to pay attention to the Leo reading, but I normally I would say that, but the Leo reading ended up being their person, even the universe not having faith that their person was going to walk away from something, walk away from the toxin. But I see your person coming right for you, like that owl pouncing on a mouse. And I see your person following their intuition. The hermit. I mean, it's like, ting, it went off. They just, there's just a knowing here that, you know, and again, there's this, somewhere in between, there's this energy of someone telling you, you can't, we're not going to be together. We can't. I have to stay with this or I have to that. But I think, you know, when I say you're tied to Leo, I don't think that you're running in conjunction with them. I don't think that it's, you know, it, it flows along in the same way. I think, 
the Pisces person is more likely to leave whatever's on their side, whatever's keeping you two apart and come towards you. I think they're really feeling like they want to do it. They're on the proper course now. We've been course corrected thanks to Lionsgate and a whole bunch of other energies in August, like the North Node energies and such. I don't know. Let's see where this goes. I'm going to give the deck a final shuffle. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Pisces for September 2022 universe. Give me a reading. It knows what I mean by that. Let's see where we go. Okay. You ready? Overall, yeah. I, I'm fucking right. I, I mean, I know it. I feel it in my bones. In my bone hurt. I feel it everywhere. Right? All kinds of things. The overall energy is the three of wands. It, it's just, it's right there. It, it, the flux capacitor, it's lit. 88 miles an hour on the Deloitte. I mean, that's just how it feels. Yes! The King of Pentacles crossing it. Another rainbow right there. Yet somebody here wants to, again, wants to fix this, wants to correct something. I don't want to say wants to fix it. I keep saying it, but that's not what I mean. I mean, they want to, it's almost like someone coming up to you saying, I, I would like to make a correction, right? I said we couldn't be together. I, I'm starting to rethink that. Somebody is rethinking that. Uh, you're very, I've told you this before. You're very special to this person. You got one fish tattooed on each butt cheek. I would remember that ass. Okay, asses all look the same. They all blend together. But you remember the person with the damn tattoos on it. All right? You're very unforgettable whether you got tattoos or not. That energy always comes up in your readings. You, uh, in spite of what this person, how they may have behaved, what they may have said, you're extremely important to them. Our reading is on the flip. Let's go. Wow. Oh, this is powerful shit. All right. Energy around the connection. You have a very powerful connection. I say cancer readings are like a fire hose of energy. Yours is too. This is, it's grown in strength because somebody really can't put you down in spite of what they may have said or done. I, I, I stand by that. Energy around the connections here, how your person's behaving in the 3D is here, the soul is here. Hidden message from the universe is here. It's red with the energy of your connection. Right here's the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. I can tell you, because I'm me, this is a powerful connection. They're never gonna be able to put you down. I think you can move on. I think you're fine. I think your energy is good. You've got a nice, you're attracting things. You know, you, you come up in vibration. It's always going to attract things. Man, this person, they want to make a correction. I want to make a correction. I said we couldn't be together. I ran from you. Well, whatever it is, it feels like that. Okay. I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards at the end. What's the energy around the connection right now? I just want you to know that your connection's powerful. And as I say that, did you see that? I said, I just want you to know that your connection is powerful. And in Steve Replay, I pull quite possibly, arguably, one of the most powerful cards I can pull in the energy of your connection is the Wheel of Fortune. This is one of the cards that don't come out for a bang in a bar parking lot. Okay, those two fish butt cheeks were not slapping around in a bar parking lot getting filmed. You were not. You're not on surveillance camera. No. This is... It, it's... They're coming. They're showing up. Somebody here, the, the, the wheel, universe is almost forcing it to happen when the Wheel of Fortune is here. Okay? It's, it's, it's massive energy. 3D. How are they behaving in the, <clears throat> how are they behaving in the 3D? Disappointment. Yeah. 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 I feel, oh, let me fix my card there. There we go. Uh, four of Cups. Mm-hmm. It's massive disappointments. And again, I can read this energy this way because this is what it is. I don't always read this card this way, but it is. It, it, the wheel is turning. Somebody who didn't want your cup. This is the correction I told you about. They didn't want your cup. They said, we can't be together. I'm not interested in your cup, Pisces. They want to make a correction. Here it is. It came out right in front of you in cards, what I've been saying. That's why I pull the cards to verify my energy read. I don't need them. But here you go. Here's the, the, it just hammers it home when you can see it. Someone who rejected your cup now is coming back to make a correction. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to make a correction. Uh, we can actually be together. Just give me, you know, kind of a thing like that. Now, I don't have anything here about a marriage on their side yet or anything or what they've done about it. But, it, but this reading certainly implies that they're going to be doing something about it. 
you know. Uh, either that or they just want to, you know, cheat with you or something. But I think your vibration is probably a little too high for that. But whatever. Do what you want. You're all grown-ups. Uh, soul energy. Red with the Wheel of Fortune. Bookend in the Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Pentacles. Well, as I say that, as I say, I don't see anything about a marriage or anything on their side. I pull the Nine of Pentacles in the soul. They're free. It's a liberation energy. It's the one pentacle card that absolutely belongs in the soul. It is a energy of freedom. It is an energy of liberation. And I also, it also implies that they've been controlled by something. The wheel turned here. I tell you guys all the time, pay attention. Pay attention. It applies to the real world and it applies to the soulmate cycle. People that like power do not like freedom. Freedom. The two do not go together. Why? Because freedom limits the power and people like power. So, power hungry people do not like freedom because freedom limits their power. Keep that in mind. Pay attention. Pay attention out in the real world on the news shows you're watching and pay the goddamn attention in this soulmate cycle. This energy, I say that because this energy implies that somebody here had power over your person. They do not anymore. Now, for some of you, if your person's not married, it could have been just a, a, a way of, you know, the way they were brought up within them. But for most of you, this is an external energy that they're breaking free from or have. It's already in the soul. I think they're already done with it. The wheel is turning on their whole life. Now they can. That's why they're making a correction. Um, <clears throat> I have a correction. Uh, we can be together. I like that cup again. Is that cup still there? Can I have that cup again? All right. It's like that. Mm -mm -mm. This is strange energy. It's the kind of energy that dictators are made of. I, I feel like something was dictating in their life. Dictators don't like freedom. Dictators won't take that away because they don't, you know, it limits their power like I already told you. Your person broke free of something. All right, It's very, 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 very strong. I can't wait to clarify that. Message from the universe. Red with the wheel of fortune. Lovers. What did I tell you? The love geese are in the air. Wheel is turning. This, this is some powerful shit. I said, I said powerful. I'm not fucking around. I, it's not a powerful enough word. The word powerful is not a powerful enough word. Okay? Your connection is magneto. Okay, I know it's a superhero or super villain or whatever, but your 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 connection is fucking magnet. It's unreal. They are just it is incredible amount of power here. It's it's a power plant. It's the love geese are in the air. They are coming towards you again. It backs up my. <clears throat> I have a correction. I said we couldn't be together. Is that cup still there? What's the potential final outcome? Red with the four of cups, backing up every. I, I took a peek. I had to. Backing up everything I've already said to you. It's Six of Cups. It's somebody from the past coming right the fuck back to say, <clears throat> I, um, <clears throat> I didn't want your cup before, but I know what I said, but I have a correction. I would now like your cup. I hope that cup is still available. This is some shit. Somebody broke free of something. Unlike Leo's person. He was, you know... You know, I was very pissed at that reading. Uh, I know a lot of you Pisceans watch those readings. I said a prayer for that person after that reading. I don't even think that's enough. And I pray pretty powerfully. Um, but we'll, we'll try. <laughs> Let's clarify. We're going to clarify. Oh, we'll look at this. Randomly at the bottom of the deck. Randomly. I haven't shuffled yet. I just picked it up to do this reading. Is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups. Um... <clears throat> Oh, God, yes, please. I'm glad I get another crack at that cup. Mm. Come on, you guys. There's no such thing as coincidences, and the odds of that happen in a lottery win level. All right, here we go. Wheel of Fortune, why is it here? Let's clarify with the Rider weight. Let's have a chat. Mm. Let's go. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? As if we don't already know. This is nice. This is good. <laughs> they certainly regret not fucking taking your cup before. That's what happens when you're controlled, though. You know, they, they obviously broke free of something that had control over them. When it, and that's always the case when the Nine of Pentacles falls in the soul and somebody's liberated themselves. Well, you don't need to liberate yourself from something where you're already liberated that has freedom built within it. 
So, you know, again, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, why is it here? Mm. Never forget, power always corrupts. It corrupts people, corrupts everything. It always does. It, 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 it's intoxicating. It turns into, it, it's devil energy clings to it very easily. So someone in a controlling relationship, it, it's, it's very easy for them to get lost in that. Okay? It's very easy. So keep that in mind as well. If in the future you ever have somebody trying to control you, okay, and change you and make you into what they would, make sure, pay attention. That energy, uh, it's, it's, mm, uh, it, it, de the, it builds very fast because it's, it's, it's very easy for devil energy to cling to it. It's like leaving a piece of bread out on the counter. It's very easy for the mold to form on it. It's not wrapped up in anything. It's just out in open air. It's perfect. By the time, you know, take it two, three days tops and it's green completely. You know, that, that's what happens with that kind of energy. Be very careful. Power, very bad thing. I don't like people that like power. I don't. I don't like them very much at all. The hermit, I pulled the top card first for some reason. The hermit, it's crossed. The wheel of fortune is crossed by the four of swords. These are two cards of doing nothing. This tells me this happens very suddenly. The love geese, they're already on the way. Why is the hermit here? Queen of Pentacles. Oh my God, that's unreal. Um, this is a soul nurturing energy. This is someone who sees your value. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. But it's also someone who knows this, this ties to that. This whole energy here ties to that Ten of Swords, right? They, from the pre shuffle. They want to do this before it's too late. Okay? They, they're, not, they're not sure if that cup is still available. I think somewhere in the back of their mind, maybe. I don't know. Because you're fine. Your energy is thriving. Your energy is attached to this Queen of Pentacles. And there's been a lot of nothing happening. But you've helped their, your energy has helped their soul wake up. Just like people like me help a lot of you wake up your soul energy. You've done that for them. Just this connection has done it for them. So at the time they told you you couldn't be together, they weren't quite free yet. They weren't liberated in the soul. They were still controlled by whatever moldy devil energy was around them. Okay? Why is the four of cups here? Let's find out. Man. I knew this was going to be a powerful reading. I knew. I knew. All right. Let's see where we go. Four of Cups. Why is it here? We've seen it twice. It was randomly at the bottom of this deck. Oh, wow. Look at this. Now they want to fight for it. The Seven of Wands. Now they want to fight for it. Now, and they hope to God your cup is still available. Uh-huh. Also, this is a card of restriction on some level. Little, well, we might read it as defensiveness, whatever. The implication is that they, again, they've freed themselves from something. It's just backing up the soul energy. Energy is always in layers, so I try to give you as many layers as I can, but I don't want to confuse people by going too deep you know, with that. There's a lot of layers here attached to this. All the stuff they lied to themselves about with you and all that, they're, just, they're, conquering, all, they're conquering a lot of demons within themselves. This is the shit inside them, and this is them taking control of it. Okay? That energy's all there. What's on top? <laughs> the most powerful card I could pull. The world. It's, it's just backing up what I said. It's one cycle ending, new cycle beginning. It's, it's now they want the cup. Again, it's a... <clears throat> I'd like to make a correction. I said we couldn't be together. Right? The energy... This also says the energy around them has changed. Yeah, I know. It's also... All of these 3D cards are backing up the 5D. They have gotten themselves or are getting themselves in September free of something that's been controlling them. Okay? Something around them is very powerful. I don't know if it's a marriage or what it is. But I will reiterate. Okay? Watch out for people that like power. People that like power do not want you to be free. Then that's, that's what your person was dealing with in their life in some way. It could be energy within them, but I feel it as an external energy. And it, it really been holding them in place. Leo's dealing with that. Leo's person don't. That's a, that's a major controlling energy. And since you're tied to that angle, I say it. But your person, unlike their person, is breaking free of it. Actually taking advantage of the new energy around them. Freedom limits the power of people that will control you. They don't want it. So, you know, they promise it, 
They'll tell you all sorts of things to make you think you're go it's going to be a great relationship. You'll love being with me. Oh, yeah, sure. There are all kinds of lie. They'll promise you the moon. You end up with a little acre and a half in no man's land, you know, at the end of the day. And, and if, if they played their cards right, you'll thank them for it. <laughs> That's the funny part. Well, your person thanked them for it for a long time, but no more. Something, something's changed here on their side. It is coming up in this reading. Why is the world here? The Four of Pentacles. No more fear. No more holding back. No more fear. Okay? That, something's changed here. This card backs that up. It's why the world is here. Why all of a sudden the big change? Because someone here has been afraid. Someone here has been holding back. Sure. Fear is a great controlling tactic. Fear, discouragement, you know. You set the fear in God that if, if, if they're not with their person, uh, the, the person will say, the person trying to control will say, if you're not, it's, it, I'm the Savior. If you're not with me, then it's all going to fall apart, you know, in your life. And, and you believe it because you're under this illusion energy, this devil energy. And they're free of that. That energy has changed. That's just nice. That's why the Three of Wands is here. See that? That's the, the next step away is the Four of Wands. I see it. It's lit. Let's talk about this freedom. Let's talk about this Nine of Pentacles. That's my theme song. All right. Nine of Pentacles. Why is it here? Part of my job here is to teach people about energy. And if I can help you in a future relationship by telling you these types of things, and if I help one person, I've done my job. Pay attention. People's actions tell you who they are. They show you who they are. Their words, most of the time, especially if they like power or they're trying to control things, uh, their words are just lies to get you to conform. That's all. To get you in line. Convince you. Say, the master salesman. Let, let their actions show you. Look at how they live their life. Look at, are they a good person? Are they a person who takes advantage? Take a look at how they treat their family. Take a look at you know how they treat others. All that kind of thing. Take a good look. All right. Or you start believing the words. And that's, that's I feel, I, I don't talk about anything that's not in the energy. I feel that's what happened here. There was some kind of relationship or some kind of way your person was brought up. Where there was a lot of discouragement toward anything that moved them away from that energy. To, from change. You know, and your person's been on a spiritual journey. The people around us don't always like that. They don't always support it. You know, and that's where you find out who's trying to control you and who isn't. Because if it's unconditional love, they should just want you to be happy. Somebody here now wants themselves to be happy. And wow, after all that shuffling, I see it. It's the high priestess crossing the nine of pentacles. Holy shit, are they following their intuition. Holy shit. Their intuition is a raging river and they're, a, they're an inner tube on top of it. Getting dragged down. They're just going with it. It's unreal. Unreal. Okay. This is... Because this is a card of liberation in the soul, this the high priestess usually keeps things pushed down, keeps cards close to the vest. This is liberation from that. It makes it flow. Right? No more keeping it down. Oh my God. What's on top? Holy shit. There it is. The tower. Look at this reading, you guys. Do you see this? Road? This is the most powerful card I can pull. This is a powerful card. This is a powerful card. Look where the strategically placed major arcanas are. They're always the first card, the first clarifier. That's important. It's not a coincidence. Things happen for a reason. The tower. This is the, this is the result. This is the why the result happened. Okay? So the result here of liberation, of the uh, soul energy beginning to flow, no longer pushing it down, was a tower, a complete teardown of their world. Whatever had power over them no longer does. They're free from it. Yeah. <laughs> Why is the tower here? Because they saw the truth. Again, look at it. It's perfect. It's perfection in tarot. Everything I'm telling you, I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. Everything I tell you just pops. Here's the Ace of Swords, Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. It's someone here. Once the intuition started to flow, they got free of it. It's the tower happens. They, they start tearing things up. Why is the tower here? Why did the tower happen? Why did they tear everything down? Why did they get free? Because they saw the truth. 
energies that want to control you, whether it's people around you or energies within you that want to control you, don't want you to see the truth. They mask the truth with lies and convince you that the lies are true. It's very easy to do. All you have to do to convince somebody a lie is true is plant a seed of doubt. In other words, you could say, well, there's no proof that it's not true. It's like that. All the thousands of examples I could give from the news. Oh my God. Seeds of doubt being planted. My God, open your fucking eyes. But regardless, in relationships, the same thing happens on a smaller level. Alright? It's about to... It, it, it's a, and, and, you know, again, someone here was trapped by someone else's truth. Okay? And they broke free of that by listening, by following their intuition. And, and I believe, and I'll say it again, because these are bookends, your connection woke them up. Your connection is what woke them up. Very, very powerful energy here. Wow, they are totally. Someone from the past is returning. It's minor arcana. It's up to their free will. They're not sure. I won't lie to you. They're not sure this, that the cup is still available. They're not sure that, you know, that their correction is going to work. This person owes you a huge apology at the very least. Okay, at the very least. So some of them might chicken out. I won't lie. It's true. Some of them might. It's hard. But most of them won't. Love geese. Let's talk about the lovers. What's the universe want to tell us here? Amazing. Amazing. They saw through the illusions. Yeah, because of the new core energy cycle in part. It's there in the world. It's a sunny day now. It's hard not to. You can see for miles. As the Who once sang, I can see for miles and miles and miles. They can. They saw right through it. They liberated themselves. They saw how they were being held back. Saw how they were stuck. Wrapped in fears. They saw the truth. And they allowed that intuition. All the stuff they were pushing back, they allowed to flow. And that's really all you have to do. It really is. Get out of your ego. Shut your brain down. And that's where you learn truth. That's where you learn how things really are. Uh, somebody learned something about a relationship or their or behavior within them for sure. Uh, it's, it's abundantly clear. Why is the lovers here? What you trying to tell me, universe? Oh, the King of Wands. The affecting energy is the King of Wands. Somebody here, some energy around your person does not like. No likey. Uh, you. No. I think there's. I don't. I don't think this applies to all of you. But for somebody, the universe, and it could be a great deal of somebody's if the universe is using it as its message. So listen up. Somebody here, uh, maybe your person's married to somebody. Let's say, for example, it's just an example. Okay? That person knows about you, and they know likey that, that, they, that their person has seen the truth and has crashed things down, has liberated. They, oh, they can't control them anymore. They know likey that the geese are in the air and they're headed your way. Hmm. It's probably somebody they're married to. For, so for those of you where your person's married, it's a specific or in a relationship, it's a specific message. This King of Wands energy, the controlling energy, the one who likes power, the narcissist, the ego. Okay, this is just a specific message for those people where your person is in a relationship with another person. That person is this power energy that will control. The power energy, the narcissist, Got to have it their way. Burger King controlling. Who doesn't like your person to be free like these birds because then that limits their power. They no longer, they like having control. They know likely that they're coming your way. They're going to try and reboot with your person. They're going to try and, and have a happy new beginning. They're going to try, which is why this is probably minor arcana. It'll work on some of them. This is a powerful, powerful energy of control. This is, uh, wow. It's strong. It's a person. It's good. Master manipulator. Why is the four of wands here? King of Pentacles. They're going to try to do it by uh, pitching stability, pitching money, pitching all kinds of shit. We're soulmates. King and Queen of Pentacles. Right? Beautiful. We're a beautiful divine connection. We belong together. You belong here. This is where the stability is. What about the family? All kinds of fucking shit. It's a specific message separate from the reading just for those of you where your person is married or in a relationship. That energy, that controlling energy that they've broken free from is going to try. They're going to try everything they can. I don't think they're going to succeed for the most part. I'll ask. Can I ask? You want me to? 
What will the outcome of this be, universe? Will they succeed? I'll, I'll ask for you. I will. Right, let's see. No. <laughs> Whoa, three of wands. Your person's looking off in other directions. Your person is looking off in other on new horizons. They're, they're having none of it. Okay, so for the majority of them, they won't succeed. By the way, at the bottom of the deck is you. That's where he's looking. You, the soulmate connection. This is what they want now. They want to live life by the cup. So a pitch of living life by the pinnacle is not going to work. Okay? Okay. There you go. There's your answer. For the majority. That's the way the wind is blowing. Okay? For the majority. It's likely to blow. A Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, there's no way to tell which way the wind's going to blow. There is no 100%. Ask any weatherman, they'll tell you that. Meteorologists will say. They'll tell you that. And energy is weather. And weather is energy. So, it's a good example. That said, that, there we go. But it goes deeper than that into physics and quantum and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, blah, blah, blah. There we go. I wrote a whole article on Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and how it relates to soulmate cycles and all that kind of stuff. Check it out. It's in my blog, sltblog.com. I'll be doing some writing again pretty soon. You guys don't have to worry. I've been a little tied up with some things. That's why I haven't been on social media too much and all. Uh, six of Cups. Let's see where we go here. Let's see where we go. Final, final on this. Yep. Somebody from your past is returning. Ten cups. Overall energy around it. A whole lot. And they all lived happily ever after. Why? Because this king of wands that was crossing here, it no longer, your person no longer believes their bullshit. They're going to pitch pentacles. Your person wants cups, like I showed you. They're, they're, they're not even facing that king of wands. They're looking out over on new horizons. They've seen through the bullshit. Once you've seen through the bullshit, once you cut through it, it no longer has an effect. It has a hard time retaking effect. In other words, if you realize, think of it in 3D terms, if you realize somebody has lied to you, okay, and you, you know, and you caught them on it, you have a hard time believing them again in the future. You'll there's always that, you know, whatever. The, the, the only way a liar gets away with it, or someone controlling, but we're using a liar as an example here, the only way a liar gets away with things is when we don't admit that they're lying. We, don't, we, we believe the nonsense. When we stop believing the nonsense or when something gets proved to be a lie, we can no longer believe that energy. And that's what's going on with your person. The King of Wands is going to try, for those of you where your person's married, to pitch them pentacles. They want cups. They're not even looking. This is they all live happily ever after. This is ten cups. They want they want the cups. So this, they're feeling the past life energy here. This I had the two of cups. I showed it to you. It was on the it was crossing this three of wands, and I got I got the six of cups here. That's a powerful connection, and it's right here. Ten cups crossing it. This is a whole lot of fairyland. Sometimes we'll see if it comes into reality. What's on top? It does the ace of cups. Somebody now and it's flowing. It's flowing like a son of a bitch. Somebody here, again, I will reiterate what I told you. These are red with these, with this four of cups that's underneath here. It's, a, somebody has a correction. Somebody said you can't be together. However they said it, whatever, I don't care. However they said it, they said you can't be together. Uh, they have a correction. Now you can, because they're no longer, they're free of something here. And if it's a marriage, we see how they're free of it. But either way, they're liberated from some energy that was controlling them married or not okay keeping you two apart they are walking away from that the majority of them are anyway ace of cups why is the ace of cups here seven of pentacles because the timing is right it's a divine timing energy around that the harvest is about to come in you'll know when this person's going to show up it should be fairly soon okay all of this energy is taking place in september but again september i'm not a time lord it's from right now, August 30th, right up through probably about the first week of October, probably all of this is taking place. That said, you'll start to see signs when this is coming in. Just like a farmer sees, oh, the oranges are turning green, they're starting to turn a little bit orange. You know, you see signs of when things are starting to ripen. You'll start to get some signs. But this cup is already flowing. Things are already in motion. The love geese are already in the air. Even as I pull this reading right now, it's in the energy. That being said, 
that is your reading. I'm going to pull three more cards from the universe just for fun. Um, a harvest is about to come in. This is communication and the final outcome. It's something you've been waiting on a while, I'm sure. I have no doubt with that Seven of Pentacles there. Divine timing. Mm. The timing is now is what it's saying. Especially with the Three of Wands as the overall energy. Let's go. Give me three cards, universe. What else you want to tell Pisces? Two fish before we go. It's a powerful reading with a powerful message. You know, honestly. I, the universe was very clear and I didn't think it was going to bring up the third energy. Whatever it is, a marriage or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, but it's nice to see an energy that's liberated from something that's controlling them. Somebody who sees through the fog. It's nice. Let's see where we go. Knight of Cups, the Moon, and the Seven of Pentacles again. Knight of, uh, the uh, Moon is crossed by the uh, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, it's been a, you've been waiting a long time for this. It's saying the same thing. They're coming. It's something you've been waiting a long time for. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Um, but this is Grandma um, at 15 miles an hour on the freeway, almost in the parking lot. There's a big offer coming your way that you may not be aware of right now. But you will be. It'll be in your face very soon. Very soon with this Three of Wands. This Seven of Pentacles ties to this one, which ties to an Ace of Cups. And that cup is already flowing. Okay? It's all about timing. You're all on different timelines. But this is what's playing out in September. And I'll, I'll give you some energy updates as we go through the month, of course. You have a very powerful connection. It's also a very fast-moving connection. So keep that in mind. That's your reading. Uh, wow. That's all I can say. Wow, what a way to end my fly through of the Zodiac. I hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right, that's your reading. You know, it's a good lesson in paying attention to people's actions. Because for a lot of you, and not listening to their words, because for a lot of you, this person told you they weren't interested. I want you to think about that when you re-watch this reading. They told you we can't be together. But their actions always said otherwise. There was some reason you always thought they were coming back. And it looks like, you know, their actions here are, are contrary to what those words were. And now they got now they got to kind of come in here with a little apology for sure. All right. Good luck, Pisces.